Have you ever watched an NBA game and cheered when your team made a three-pointer? And have you ever paid attention to where the pass came from that set that shot up? Of course, not all threes are the same. And while some may look more open than others, what is every bit as vital is the direction from which the pass came to set up that three-point attempt. And this is something very few people really appreciate. So we put the incredible computing power of Vantage Sports on the case to dig up the data and tell us what the numbers are saying. Is a pass from the post out to a three-point shot better than swinging it around the perimeter for a shot? Does the drive and kick yield different results as well? Let's dive deep into the numbers to find out. And I guarantee you, you'll never watch the game of basketball the same way again. First off, let's look at the catch and shoot three point shot when generated from a pass from the perimeter. Here's a look into which teams generate the most of those, what percentage of their overall threes are taken this way, and how they rank. The Rockets lead the league in swinging the ball around for threes, yet only convert on them just under 32% of the time, which ranks them 25th in perimeter pass three-point percentage. And if you look at these types of shots as the percentage of overall threes taken, the Knicks lead the league. Over 49% of their threes are on passes from the perimeter, and they're at the bottom of the league in making them at 30%. The Spurs, on the other hand, take the third fewest three-pointers off of perimeter passes. However, they are hitting a league-leading 41%. Let's understand why these are the less desirable three-point attempts. While many of these are open off of good ball movement, the shooter usually turns his body in the direction of the pass before and then has to find the basket alignment to shoot it, usually pretty quickly before the defense gets there to contest. This is in stark contrast to a three-pointer that is taken on a kickout. When there is penetration and the shooter can find the opening along the three-point arc, his body is already aligned to the basket, making these much easier shots to take on balance, in rhythm, and without wasting any extra time. Interestingly, it's the Philadelphia 76ers who lead the league in total drive and kick three-point attempts. The offensive ratings of the teams that take the most drive and kick threes is less than desirable, as these shots generally require movement by the shooter to find an opening and then get the shot off, as well as accurate passing from a penetrator on the move. The Raptors shoot the best off of drive and kick threes, which is good news for them considering how they attack off the dribble so often while the Thunder, Wolves, and Hornets rank at the bottom in success rate. That said, the Thunder and Hornets' offensive ratings have not been hurt by this. Looking at the percentage of overall threes that are taken from drive and kick, notice that the Warriors are dead last by a wide margin, primarily because Steph takes so many off the dribble threes. And not surprisingly, the Heat lead the league in drive and kick threes, since their dribble drive motion offense is predicated on dribble penetration to find openings for teammates to score. And they rank fifth in drive and kick field goal percentage, indicating they're successfully executing their offense from a three point shooting standpoint. Let's move on to the real key here, passes from the post up. While everyone wants to talk about the post up being dead or not worth the expected points value, the post up will never go away because of its value to an offense in generating perimeter shots. Too many people get caught up with the notion that a post-up is designed to score. This is nonsense. A post-up usually attracts the entire defense's attention, often with them turning their heads towards the ball. This means those defenders have completely lost sight of their men. And this is why shooters get open on good, crisp passes out of the post. Again, shooters are already catching the ball with good alignment to the hoop, so the same benefits from catch and shoot apply, with the added benefit of a stationary passer being able to make an easier pass back out. We've talked about the inside-out pass for three with Hawks coach Mike Budenholzer before, so it's no surprise that they lead the league in most attempts in this category. Interestingly, they're not shooting very well at all on post kickouts, ranking 20th in three-point percentage. The team with the best percentage is the Gold State Warriors, who are far and away better than the rest of the league, and are eighth in the percentage of total threes taken in this manner. 
taking a step back, we see a few interesting items. The Warriors shoot 54.55% on inside-out threes, compared to only 38.77% on reversals. The Grizzlies are an absolute anchor for the league mean in inside-out three-point percentage, shooting a ghastly 19.61%. This is a team who last season had a reputation as the best post-passing team in the league. In fact, just removing the Grizzlies from the league average inside-out three-point percentage bumps it up more than half a percentage point. The Houston Rockets destroy the rest of the league in reversal three-point attempts, but are shooting a horrible 31.75% on those. While they rank only ninth in inside-out three-point attempts, they're shooting about 12.5 percentage points better on those threes. The Toronto Raptors have the highest driving kick three-point percentage at 42%, which, considering how their backcourt likes to play, bodes well for them. And taking a further step back from all this data provided to us from Vantage Sports, and you look at the bigger picture, we can see that 13 teams shoot better from driving kick threes compared to their overall three-point percentage. However, on pass outs from the post, it's more dramatic. 19 teams, almost two-thirds of the league, improve their three-point percentage. So, the next time someone argues that the post-up is dead, simply remind them that throwing the ball down at the block doesn't mean it disappears into a black hole of inefficient shots. It's the best way to enter into this new era of pace and space three-point shooting basketball that has clearly taken hold of the game forever.